Hello everyone and welcome back to Shay's Crafting Corner. I'm Shay and today we're making something I saw on TikTok. So I was scrolling through TikTok and I've never seen this type of art before. It's called paint pouring and all you do is put a bunch of paint on the canvas and then move it around and just see how it ends up. I thought it was so satisfying and so cool looking that I was like, why not try it? So I'll leave all the supplies that I use in the description box below. Let's get started. The materials you're going to need are cups, glue, gloves, paint, canvas, popsicle sticks, and water. The most important thing we're gonna do is put down a protection for wherever you're doing this. So I'm putting two trash bags and then a piece of cardboard to double protect my area. We're gonna get started by taking our Elmer's glue and distilled water, but I didn't have distilled water, so I just used tap water and it works the same. You're gonna do a one to one ratio. And then we're gonna mix it up. And this is our paint thinner. We need a paint thinner because the paint we're going to use is craft paint, which means it's a thicker paint. And we need it to be thinner in order to move around the canvas. And it'll take forever to dry if we don't thin it out. So these are the paints that I chose. And you're still gonna do a one to one ratio with the paint thinner and the paint. And then make sure to mix it all up. The canvas that I chose was an artist loft canvas. It's really cheap, it's only a few bucks. Uh, you can't hang it on the wall, but you can put it in a frame and then hang it on the wall. But I chose a cheap one because I didn't know what it was doing basically. So I use these Dixie cups just to elevate my canvas so it's easier and it doesn't stick to the cardboard. But obviously you don't have to if you don't have them. Make sure to put your gloves on, otherwise paint will get everywhere, all over your fingers and you can't get it off. <laughs> So there is a technique where you can put all the paint in the cup and then turn it over and see how it is, but I didn't want to do that because I want my control. So I'm going to take individual paints and then place it wherever I want. I'm going to leave some paint in the cup because if I tilt it and I don't like what it looks like, then I can go back and fix it. And knowing me, I won't like it at first, so I'm going to have to go back. Then when I'm satisfied with how much paint I put on, you're gonna tilt the canvas from the corners and just see how it turns out. And what did I tell you? I didn't like what it looked like and I'm going back and putting more paint. If the paint doesn't go all the way to the edge, you could take a popsicle stick and swipe the paint that is by the edge and it'll go there, or you could put more paint. So at the end, you can take a spray bottle of rubbing alcohol and spray the canvas and all the air bubbles will disappear. Or you could do it at the beginning when we're mixing all the paint, but I kind of like the bubbles personally. So this is the finished project, but I had a lot of paint left and I didn't feel like wasting it. So I brought my boyfriend and we did little canvases. Wasn't that so satisfying and so cool? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and comment this video, and go check out my other videos. <laughs> I post every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for stopping by my corner. See you next time.